Hey guys, Crazy Tater here, and today I'm going to show you how to use particles because it seems like a lot of people are having confusion on it. I made a particle that focuses on each different aspect of it, and I'm going to start from here, work my way down. This is duration. Oops. It's this setting right here. It's how long the particle lives before it disappears. In this case, this one lives two seconds and then it disappears. <clears throat> This one is emit frequency. It's how often it spawns in a particle. As you can see, every half of a second it spawns, it spawns one in. This next one is emit position offset. It pretty much says, okay, this is where I want it to spawn, which right now I have it two blocks above the center of the particle block. This one is emit position variance. It has the emit position and it randomly adds or subtracts uh, 0 0.05. So, see it slides up a little bit. So now instead of it being as it always spawns at one, it'll spawn between half of a block and one and a half blocks. This one is velocity. This one pretty much says, I want it to go in any direction. <clears throat> so this one I have it set to Y, which is up and down. So it shoots up four blocks per second. I, I think that's how it counts. I'm not entirely sure on that. But if you switched it to 75 or something, it'd be like a bullet shooting straight up. This one's velocity variance. It's the same thing as emit position variance to where... You have your velocity, and then it adds 2 and subtracts 2. So now instead of it being a solid 4, it's between 2 and 6. <clears throat> As you can see, it shoots faster sometimes. Sometimes it's slower. This one's gravity. This one affects how much pull or how much float that the block has. Right now I have it set to 1, so it pulls down 1. If I set it to 10, it'd go 10 times as fast down. Or if I set it to a negative 2, it would start floating up. This one is rotation. As you can see, it's just spinning. Um, to make it go one full circle in the time it lives, which would be the duration, it would be 3.14 or pi. So pretty much, it spins one full circle in two seconds. If I wanted it to spin two full circles, I would just double pi here and make it 6.28. <clears throat> this one is start size. Pretty much X, Y, Z. Um, if you have one for the X, it should be, I believe it's forward or backwards, but I'm not too sure. So it would be one block wide. Y is one block tall, and Z should be uh, one block sideways. <clears throat> End size, it just pretty much takes whatever the start size is and it multiplies it. Right now I have it as 0.25, so it goes... Um, it's over its whole life it shrinks down to one-fourth of the size. This one is wind affection. I have it set as half because one is pretty powerful in this game. But it pretty much just goes with the wind. Right now the wind's blowing that way, but sometimes it'll blow that way and <clears throat> it's kinda like velocity, but it's more just whatever the wind is going for. And this one is for the colors. Right now I have it spawning in as a transparent brown and it goes into a regular brown. Um, there's pretty much four sets of numbers here. The first one is how much red you want. The second one is how much green you want. The 19 right there, that's how much blue you want. And the zero is alpha, or how much transparency. At zero, it's see-through. At 255, it's a solid color. Um, with that being said, if you just mess around with each setting, um, maybe offset a bunch of them, you can make cool particle effects like my Charizard right here. 